I'll probably do some videos on doing amp mods. Technically, that's what we're doing here. We're 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 troubleshooting an issue, but we're also resolving the issue by modifying the circuit. Um, so, and a lot of modding is actually doing exactly this kind of thing. Sometimes you add an extra uh, gain stage, uh, which is effectively what the overdrive circuit is on this. It would be done as an as an add-on on say a, a Marshall or something that didn't have it um, but even before that with a with an amp uh, a lot of modding starts with just playing around with what's there already changing the uh, cathode resistors like we are plate load resistors uh, playing around with the tone stack changing uh, the tone controls and how they work so technically we are modding the amp this is always kind of really fiddly. One of the things uh, when you're modifying an amp, it's a little bit more time consuming or, or difficult. Uh, when you're first putting the amp together, you'll make all these decisions and you'll, you'll put all these leads in all at the same time. And you won't have to go in after and try and squeeze something in where you've already got, like in this case, three components. Uh, it can be really difficult to make that happen. Might have some room here now. Can we work that capacitor in there? Might just make it there. Let's just see what we can do. Success. We do a chopstick test on this too when we get to get this done. Just make sure everything's in there tight. Things have turned a corner.